Today's May 30th, meaning is World Bee Day. So let's talk about native bees, unlike the media. Not only talk about them, let's talk about how we could help them and what they need. So the best thing you can do to save the bees is plant native wildflowers and just don't use pesticides, ever. Most of the over 3,000 bee species in North America are solitary bees. They don't live in a hive. Like this carpenter bee, it's drilling a hole in this wood to lay its eggs, its babies. It's a single mother. If you have carpenter bees destroying your house or deck, just put something like this and plant some native wildflowers and they will leave your deck alone 100%. Now let's talk about these cuties. These are mason bees. They're also solitary. They are great pollinators. So similar to the carpenter bees, mason bees lay their eggs in holes in wood or even bamboo, and they fill those holes with mud and pollen. And I just have to say, watching them hatch out of the things are, is the cutest shit ever. <laughs> but some mason bees take it to the next level. <laughs> like this gorgeous red-tailed mason bee. She just found a snail shell to start her nest, but that's just the beginning. She then within three hours builds a structure over 20 times her height to protect those babies. Nature is so crazy. <laughs> now let's talk with my personal favorite, the leaf cutter bee. These cuties straight up cut leaves and roll them up. I love it. Just look how quickly they cut through it. <laughs> Similar to the mason bee, leaf cutter bees lay their eggs in holes, but they wrap them in leaves and then they stuff it with leaf pulp and pollen. Now let's talk about the furry and adorable bumblebees. <laughs> Unlike the previous bees, bumblebees do have hives and they're very cute. Bumblebees will make their hives in holes in the ground, birdhouses, or I've even seen them in pots, like empty pots. That's just all they need is some protection.